Hello everyone, I'm um, doing a quick video on replacing the washer on these uh, Delta faucets. Um, this is the third one I'm changing today. Uh, wife is out, wife and the kids are out to New York, so I'm uh, uh, trying to get these wrapped up. They've been uh, dripping for a while, seems like all of them um, um, ha have the same issue. Um, uh, it just drips. Uh, initially, I thought uh, um, what I you know by changing the other ones, um, the issue with these are um, there's a uh, there's these washers uh, seats seats and springs. I right, say so it has a sp this is a seat and this piece right there is the spring. Um, so one on each side, one for the hot water, one for the cold. Um, it's uh, over time is wear, wear and tear the the plastic this rubber thing here uh, will eventually start breaking and that will uh, you will you will have uh, drips with that um, it's very inexpensive I picked this uh, pack of fifty from Lowe's uh, I believe it was like ten bucks uh, since all my fa you know three of three of my faucets um, I noticed all had drips. So I thought I might as well get this. I'll probably have to do this every year, every other year. Um, Delta faucet. Um, uh, the tools I'm, I'm using, uh, it's a 1-8 Allen key. Um, this pick, uh, it's very handy. Uh, this plier um, to loosen up this one of the screw. Um, I think that's about it. It's a very straight up process. Uh, here we go. Um, just, some, just a discretion. I have already loosened um, this guy up for the video purpose. I thought, um, um, yep, for the video purpose, uh, I already loosened it up. So the first thing first, you're gonna pop this uh, piece off, which is right under the handle. Take this guy off, um, and then in here, this is where your um, there's a screw in there. You would use your one eight Allen key. To loosen this one up. Uh, if this is uh, wedged, wedged in there, this is where you want to use your pliers to get a good grip. Uh, it's it gets really annoying. Uh, you know, if the if the screw is tight in there with the Allen key, just the way it is, it's really hard to maneuver it. Uh, but since I already had mine mine loose, uh, that's the reason it looks so easy right here. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, once you get this screw off. Uh, you're gonna put the camera on down. So once you get this screw out, um, the screw um, gets the handle loose. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, once the screw comes out, right. So, um, oh yeah. Before you guys do all of this, make sure your water lines are shut off. Water lines are uh, under the sink. Uh, this should be two, one for the hot, one for the cold. Um, just turn it to the right, that will shut it off. Uh, make sure uh, they, there isn't any water coming in. Um, otherwise, uh, the pressure is going to make it come up. Uh, just discretion on there. So once you have that screw off with the Allen key, um, just shake this around. Um, I mean, if it has been sitting there for a few years, you might have to jiggle it around and pull up as you do that. Uh, it comes out the way it is. Uh, once you have that out, the next thing is is this um, screw. I'm gonna start twisting to the left, lefty loosey, right, uh, righty tidy. That's the way I remember it. To the left. Uh, I already had mine loose, so that's the reason you see the gap in there. This one comes off. Um, then there's a washer. Um, at this point, I think if you pull this up, there's this ball here. Uh, it pulls everything up so you don't have to put in you don't have to stress this washer here uh, what I normally do um, is uh, best thing to do is make sure you don't have any um, any degrading um, any rips um, anything here uh, if you do I recommend changing this part as well uh, make sure it's not this this rubber uh, it's not breaking off um, this looks okay 
if it is i mean it's a pretty quick process i'll come back and change it again and the two other ones i did earlier it was just these springs here um next next thing uh you want to get your pick um one thing i recommend you will have water in here once you uh get that this ball piece out uh, what I did was uh, either take a piece of cloth or a napkin, get get all the water sucked up so you have so you can see it clearly. As you can see, so you have uh, so you have one. This is the hot one. This is the cold one. Uh, over time, this this will wear off. I'm using a pick. Seems like that you know it makes your life a lot easy. Um, as you can see, uh, let's see yeah, this one. I mean, this is definitely bad right there. Uh, yep. It's either um, it's either the flatness over time with the pressure, because these are hy hydraulic. Um, it's get they get flat and, and the, the water seep through it. And then the second one here, there you go, uh, fairly quick. Um, and the yeah, so on the on the newer ones, um, so this if you look at the spring here. So you have the smaller side, then you have a bigger side. Um, smaller sides will go, side will go inside the uh, this rubber piece, the washer, whatever you want to call it, or the seat, according to this wrapper here. All right, um, and then pretty much you want to uh, sit this back in there, uh, just the way it came out. I normally inspect this to make sure everything looks good in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this camera down while I get this uh, piece seated. What I'm doing here is I'm just using the pick to uh, squeeze it, squeeze it in there. Make sure you don't um, break the rubber. If you do, or this the seat thing, uh, if you know, if you cause a crack in there, I would definitely take that one out and uh, use another one. Just inspecting it, make sure, making sure I didn't damage it. And it looks fine. I, I'll give me a second. I will show you guys on the camera once the second one is seated. Yeah, what I realize is this pick, uh, it comes in handy. You don't definitely need it, but since I had this, uh, okay. Uh, so the way they look is, let's see. Uh, I don't know how clear that is, but yeah. So they're pretty much just sitting back the way we took these guys out. We took these out, they're pretty flat as you can see. I'm gonna make sure they're sitting in there, right? Uh, right, it looks good. Um, next thing, um, this ball right here, uh, you will have this, uh, um, I don't know what, what, what this would be. As you can see, there's a little notch right there. And make sure this this um, this little thing right there fits into the notch. If if it's not sitting right, you're gonna have issues. Just FYI. Uh, once you have that ball in there, uh, I am re reusing this washer. Uh, gonna go ahead and and even for this washer too, as you can see, I'm sure when you guys would do when you will do one, you will see. It kind of sits in there. Uh, see this notch right there? It, yeah, it needs to be seated right in there. Once you have that, it's reverse engineering. Take this. Uh, make sure I don't. Come on. There you go. Let's see. What is going on? Cross-threaded. Yeah. Make sure this is sitting right in. 
Uh, you never want to force anything. Uh, seems like. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay. Uh, the threads look okay. Hmm. It's not uh, going on right, but but I'm sure uh, the two other the two other ones I did it went on right right away. Just gonna play around with it. I uh, should just go right on there. There you go. Um, here, you don't, um, I don't recommend using a plier. Uh, I feel like, uh, since this is a visible piece, if, if I put pliers on there, the, it's going to leave teeth mark. Um, you may have to get a whole piece. Um, get a towel or use your hand, uh, whatever works. Best, I'm going to use my, sh uh, I'm going to use my shirt here. Uh, but I think. I got a pretty good grip getting that way. Okay. All right, I think. Ah, it's a good workout. Alright, um, yeah, the final thing I just want to mention, uh, once you put the handle back on, um, it you don't have much room here um, between the handle. So once this goes back in, you see, so it sits on there. So I want to make sure you, uh, you align this straight with, with this faucet here. Because if it's moving this way, uh, trust me, it's, it's not going to be, uh, I, I've already been there. It's not going to work. Uh, well, but then again, it's not the end of the world. I mean, if you do do that, you may have to just loosen it up and retry it again. Uh, best thing to do is just hold it tight. And uh, once you get a good, um, the way I'm doing this, I have it on the Allen key. And I'm going to try and get enough turns while they're still aligned come on Anyways, you guys got the point. Once this goes back in, uh, we put this final piece in, uh, turn on the water, uh, give it a try, see how that looks. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Um, you should be able to do it yourself. All right, guys, thank you.